All right, Magic the Gathering Arena. Which one was it again? Uh, white, blue. That I need to play. Azorius Ascension. When you spend less mana to answer a threat than it costs, you've gained an important mana advantage. Okay. Whoa! What does that mean with a wraith? Wreath around his rank. Um, I've only got two mana. Do I have any mana draw? I think these are all too high cost. We need to mulligan. I've only got two manas. I need a, like a, I need a third mana and some more low cost cards. Hello. Overscore. Okay, so now we've got too much mana, and no creatures. Scry. Why do I get to scry there? Oh, so is, is scry... you get to scry if you mulliganed? Hmm. Oh, it's my go. Yeah, done. Okay, whoopsie. Weird. Hello. Going to opt. Ooh, resplendent griffin. Flying ascend. Give us a little 2-2 flying. That's very nice. I'll keep that. It's three, though. It's green. Okay, so he's running the dinosaur deck. Okay. So I need to be I need to play as fast as I can. Because this dinosaur deck is a little scary. Uh, in the mid to late game. When it enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent. And once I have the city's blessing, that'll be a 3 3. Sacrifice desert, talk because you get to see end of turn. In because of sorcery. Ranging raptors. Uh, basic land, we're going to take damage. Okay, meandering river. Fine. Do I want to. I can. I could. Excellence binding this and just try to get some board control. I mean, he can't block it anyway. And I wouldn't want to block, so... Meandering River. Attack with my parrot. It says Griffin, but look at that. That's a parrot. Oh, piss! Yeah, I thought I was safe with that flying creature, but I forgot that Savage Stomp lets you attack a flying creature. One thing that surprised me about this th this particular deck, I forgot what it's called, but it doesn't have any creatures with reach that I can remember. Back from playing the... Oh, okay, we're just getting mana flooded now. We're done. Fucking done. We are done, Uh, um, Cancel. Counter target spell. Well, we have no sh we have no shortage of mana, but we don't have any creatures. Just getting dino out of the fizzes. Ooh, baffling end. Be good. Uh, exile target creature and opponent controls. I mean, I, I don't want to take that deal five damage. It's only a two-two, but it's it's real threat is 
keep trying to counter it. Can't counter it. Why can't I take that? Oh, with converted mana cost three or less. Okay, that's why, because it's more than three. I understand. But I feel so dirty playing blue. Counter spell. Exile. Counter spell. Exile. Hasn't, it hasn't helped though. Oh, we're so burned. Rip. Rip us. Rip. 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 Our faces. Now deal opening hand typically has three or four lands, more than five or fewer than two because it's taking a mulligan. Iago Arabe. Everyone's higher rank than me. Uh, send, add mana, add mana. So it's actually three, three, three mana. One white, one colorless. A nice little one cost blocker. Pocket oh, creature can't attack this turn. Put a brick counter on Edifice of Authority. Oh, that's pretty cool. Cast out is great, but it's a bit expensive. I'm keeping it. That's so rude. No one ever talks to you. Sacrifice Field of Ruin. Destroy target non-basic land an opponent controls. Each player searches their library for a basic land card, puts it into the battlefield, and shuffles their library. Doesn't sound that useful. I think I want to get this edifice of authority onto the battlefield as soon as I can. That's interesting. Until your next turn, target creature can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. Activate this ability only if there are three or more brick counters. Oh, I see. So three times I have to use it to target creature can't attack this turn. That's actually an awesome card. And that's going to pay off. And that's going to pay off once we have the City's Blessing, but we're nowhere near having City's Blessing. Cycling, what, how, what does cycling mean? Discard this card, draw a card. Oh, okay. So if I pay one white, I can draw a different card. Okay. Right. Pious Interdiction and Aura Enchantment. When Pious Interdiction enters the battlefield, you gain two life. Nice. Enchanted Creature can't attack or block. So we would cast that on one of their big bads just to make it useless. He's black red, okay. So he's gonna have. Okay, pirates. Additional cost to cast the spell, reveal a part card from your hand. Okay. Nice little sound effect. Oh, here comes the mana flood again. At least I can start using Edifice of Authority to block their creatures. Uh, I think he might have some Destroy Artifact up cards in his red. A Braid is the one I'm thinking of. So it's just, I've got to pay one mana a turn to stop someone from attacking and to put Brick Counters. Catsail enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals their hand. Choose a non-creature, non-land card. Exile that card. Uh. I 
I could use field. I could sacrifice field of ruin to destroy one of his. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Destroy target non basic land. I mean, I'm, I'm so far ahead on mana. That's really screwed him now for mana. I mean, he gets to choose choose one, but I think it, it slows him down. And can I not use? What's he doing? Is he choosing something? Happening. My turn. His turn. Oh, I see how that works now. Okay, it just it pulls it straight in. Okay, so I've just limited his ability for flex his flexibility there a little bit. That's not as good as I was hoping. Can't attack this turn. Put a brick counter on edifice. Have so. Field of Ruin didn't work the way I thought it worked. It's a kind of a... is it... I don't know. How good is that really? I mean... If he had to actually pay to cost the mountain that he got... <laughs> it would be better. Okay, shit. So, Menace. Can't be blocked by two or more. So that's just gonna trade quite well. As uh, long as it's attacking, so it's 2 1 if it's attacking. Draw two cards. If you have the city's blessing, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This would be 7, 8. It's going to take too long before we get the city's blessing. I need to draw the two cards. I'm desperate for something on the field to block stuff with. We're still at 19 health, it's not bad, but we have a problem here. We seriously have a problem. Oh, piss! Taking pirates get... Oh, my face. That is 11 damage. Which I feel like I have to accept, because if I block now with the snub one, I'm just going to lose it. Uh, I need to, I think it's time to cast Pass Intervention on the Dire Fleet Neckbreaker. Counter target non-creature spell, man. Okay, so it's a spell counter, not a creature counter. Let's artifact this. And don't I have enough to cast pass fiction? I think I should have cast that first. Well, we've got three brick counters on Edifice of Authority, so we can stop enemies from blocking, but that's not really what I need right now. Yeah, we're done. No blockers! Defeat! <laughs> Is that Owen 2 with Azorius Ascension? Lumio, everyone's <laughs> such high rank and more experienced than me. Okay, lots of islands. Cheap Griffin, I like that. Bell counter. Uh, do we mulligan that? That. It'll allow me to cast a griffin on turn 3, and I can negate a spell on turn 2. River's Rebuke, return all non-land permanents, target player controls to their hand. That's awesome, so if he's got a big board, I can just fill it with that. Uh, what is that? So he is the playing dino deck. Oh, so I can... Cycle it, but no, I rather want to draw two cards in two turns time. If it cycles, does it go back into the... You know what, let's, let's cycle it. 
the second see how it works. Oh, it goes into the graveyard. Uh, I thought it would go to the bottom of the library. Oh. I don't know if that was worth it or not. Enters the battlefield tapped. I can't cast the gate. Mm. Yeah, we're getting out tempoed again. Uh, it's just, it feels like this deck is like mostly just land. We're getting so many fucking land in this game. It's annoying. Your go, man. Uh, this is bad. <laughs> One damage to each creature, which then triggers the extra card draw. Very nice. Very nice. Well, I can counter a bunch of spells. I just can't bring any creatures into the deck. He doesn't really care about all my cancels because he has so few spells. The big green and red stompy lizards. Creature and a druid. Uh, wait, it's so a cancel target spell. Can I stop it? You can stop a creature. Okay. Well, I'll, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have wasted on the Nog of Arculus. But Free scoundrel, ascend. As long as you have blessing, has hexproof and can't be blocked. Yeah, at least we can use cancel to stop him from bringing in monsters. Oh, but shit! No, I haven't got enough mana for that. So if he brings in like a huge, a big bad, and I can't stop it, he bring in a five cost something. Just like that. Okay, listen, man. I should have hung into my mana. Got this synergy going so nicely there. Listen, learned. Hang on to your mana to counter stuff. If I could have countered that, that would have been. And when I do negate or cancel. One sentry, does it help me? Because I just have to keep on to enough mana to be able to cost pencil. Does that mean that it has to have one non blue? I thought it meant I could cast it if I had three blue. Oh, well, I've done it again. Well, I'm learning hard lessons <laughs> about how this deck works. I should be able to cast a meandering river, yes. Yes, I will cancel that. Yeah, it goes into his graveyard, so certain decks that can pull from the graveyard. Oh my word, he gets to call that as well! And he cost it for like for free and then I caught the Well played, sir, well played. Well it wouldn't have mattered, I mean if he had brought in the other Burning Sun's Avatar. Good game. That's 0-3 for Azorius Ascension. That's hard. Game is hard. Game is hard. It's only been 19 minutes for this episode. Let's, let's try a fourth one. Fourth time lucky. Clearly this, this white blue deck takes a bit more skill to use and skill is the one thing I don't have yet, so... Brag Gold Girith, and he's got a gold rank 3. I don't even know how the ranks work yet. And how do I level up? By getting wins, I imagine. So <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not in danger of leveling up anytime soon. Compulsory Rest. Enchant Creature. Can't attack or block. 
scoundrel elimination i think connection lost what I'm gonna keep it because of the slippery scoundrel. Murphog. Desert hold. When desert hold enters the battlefield, if you control a desert or there is a desert card in your graveyard, you gain three life. Nice. Enchanted creature can't attack or block, and it's activated, it can't be blocked. That's an awesome aura. I don't like playing against the Merfolk deck. I've, from what I've seen, what's day nine player, but the, the Merfolk deck is quite high tempo and it gets a lot of damage quite quickly. I mean, look at this. Jade Barrier. Bearer. When Jade Bearer enters the battlefield, we will encounter another Merfolk. Yeah, we're done already. This <laughs> is ridiculous. Uh, compulsory rest. I mean, you'll probably just sacrifice it to get two life, but at least then I've avoided him, stopped him from using the 3 3. He's, yeah, green blue, that is the Merfolk dick. Merfolk, Merfolk. So this deck has awesome exile and removal and card draw, but has really weak creatures. Need board clear. That's what I need against this this deck. Oh, piss off. It's all just synergizing one ones. This is the worst. Uh, I can't stop it, can I? No. Fine. Uh, I think I have to accept the three damage here. I'd love to get a desert out so I can use desert's hold to stop him from attacking. The card draw is nice, but it's lost. It's too late. We've already been so far behind. And then he spell pierces. I can't pay the two, so fair enough. GG, we lost. I don't like this deck at all. Lots to learn. Lots and lots and lots to learn. I think I have to just accept that again. What is this? Draw a card. That's nice. Angler Drake. Flying. Turn talk creature just owner's hand. That's nice. But I don't have the mana for it. I think I have to play... Don't hit this. Plus attack or block. So just I just have to desert hold that. It would have been nice to get the plus three life from having a desert, but I don't have a desert. Two shade bearers. Good block. Now I want to keep slippery scoundrel. Five. I can cast Angler Drake on the next turn, but then I don't have anything else. That's actually it could be nice. Whatever he summons now, I can return it with Angler Drake. I certainly don't want to return these to their hands. They just they fine as they are now. Can't be blocked. Fuck. I don't want to return that to its hand. He'll just get the draw a card bonus again. 
Do I want to kill? Kind of have to. Oh, you're kidding me. See, this this doesn't really help me. I mean, I can block some one ones with it, but then I, it would waste the return to the target's hand ability. If I don't bring it out, he's just going to attack with all three and do three damage. Oh, that feels like a waste. I certainly don't, I don't do that because I don't want to give it another chance to buff enemies. We got a 4 4 flying. She can't block, but it doesn't matter. I need it to just to block these dudes. Sacrifice it. Search for a basic land. Okay, so he's got seven. I've got six. Okay, what is this? Glyph Keeper flying. When Glyph Keeper becomes the target of a spell or ability for the first time each turn, counter that spell or ability. That's awesome. And embalm. What does embalm do? Exile this card from your graveyard. Create a token. Oh, right. Okay, it's a zombie. Nice, we've got two flyers, which is great, so I should be able to block now. He didn't count, he had no cards. I don't want to talk too soon, but I almost feel good about this. He's, his, his deck is gassing out quite badly. It's time we start putting some hurt on him. And then I can block these one ones, except for that one. So I'm on an eight turn counter with the Mist Cloaked Herald, but I can block the Jade Bearers. Oh, not what I needed. Uh, three, nine. Let's go. Uh, does this mean he can't can't block, attack, or block? Can't attack or block. He needs three turns to kill me. I need two turns to kill him. He doesn't have flying. He shouldn't be able to block unless he's setting up some block or removal. Please don't have something horrible. We've got him next turn if he doesn't finish us this turn. Or remove one of these two. Oh, piss! It's six, we still in this? No, no, what's he doing? Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? We doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. What's that card? Is this going to be more buff? Needs one more hit point of damage. Connection lost? That's not on my end. I wonder if he's just disconnecting. On seed match, never. What is going on? Uh, are you kidding me? We're about to win. Another connection is lost. That's not on my end. What's going on? If I've run out of data, I'm going to shit myself. No, I'm not. Hell. Yeah, it's it's not on my end. I've I've got. I'm guessing that what's happened here is he knows he's going to lose, so he disconnects. Hopes that I'll get annoyed first, and I'll click concede match and exit, and then that way he doesn't lose. Well, it looks like we can see his turn ending here. So what's happening? I'm just going to wait. Screw this. I'm not conceding. The connection isn't lost on my end. What the hell? Uh, what? 
It's 100% not on my end. Okay, chaps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little break here, stop the recording, and I'm just going to leave this. I don't care how long this takes. <laughs> if he wants to play MTG again today, he's going to have to log back in and then connect back to the match and take the loss. Something like that. This looks, this looks fucked. If any of you guys have experienced something like this, just let me know. Because I don't know what's going on. Okay, we'll see what happens. Weirdness. Much, much weirdness. My dogs don't like it. My dogs aren't happy. They smell some bullshit. Okay, friends. Okay, chap. So we're still here. 13 minutes later. And it still says I've lost connection. Although, I haven't. My internet's fine. I don't know if I've lost my connection to the MTG client. I don't think that's the case. I think Bragol Girith. I accuse you of shenanigans, sir. I think he's switched off his internet or something, hoping that I'll just but first. I abjure thee, sir. I bite my thumb at thee. Girith, mark thy name. We're just about to win too. Uh, hashtag just beta things. Okay, friends, so I think I'm going to count that as a win. We were just about to win. He, he needed one more point of damage. The buff. I mean, it's so suspicious that that's when my connection would, would you know, be lost. Hmm. Weirdness. So, so weird. I mean, we were briefly getting connection lost messages earlier. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm being un, un, unkind to noble Bregel Gareth, but I don't know. I think shenanigans are afoot. Anyway, thanks for watching, friends. I'm going to count that as a win. So one and three with the Ascension deck. We would have won that too. Okay. Thanks for watching, friends. See you next time.